What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing the recap of one of the last fours for 2.0. It was a random matchup against the Dark Looters. Yes, the German clan, the Dark Looters. These guys are absolutely fantastic. Uh, what a stand-up group of individuals and an, um, just amazing clashers. Uh, as you'll see, they freaking mopped the floor with us. Um, you know, we did not put forth our best effort i want to say um as a clan you know as a whole uh we talked about it after because uh definitely opened up some eyes because uh this was really the first uh solid uh matchup we've gotten since the since the update uh and we learned a lot you know and that's all that really matters uh dark looters uh, obviously they're a bunch of amazing attackers so uh <laughs> you know if we're gonna lose a, a war like this it's obviously uh we hope it's against a, a group of guys like dark looters because they are just fantastic over there in fact on top of it they even had a um three to two advantage at the town hall 11s so they had their number three um put his uh, all his town hall 11 stuff outside the base and he attacked without his grand warden so just that's just an example of just how awesome these guys are uh you know they like the even playing field uh, the even playing field <laughs> i should say oh, stumbling over my words tonight um but yeah, uh, enough rambling for me. Uh, Dark Looters, appreciate everything you've done. Uh, thanks for a fantastic war. Uh, let's jump right in and check out some of these replays. <clears throat> Way down at the bottom. 29, good old KB going in here. Uh, Want to show us this kind of an interesting kind of open concept base. Um, KB goes in here with a queen, uh, sort of a queen would charge. I, I don't know if you wanted to just walk it down this side and get all this percentage and uh, all this stuff, but because um, it starts to go to that side and then um, ends up hiking it back and goes back around and it works out perfectly because she just walks right into this open alleyway after taking down this queen. Uh, and it's a huge piece, right? When your little queen charge here can take care of the defensive queen, that allows your kill squad with your golem and kings, uh, and king, geez Louise tonight, uh, to get so much value because um, you can focus them on other things other than just getting the queen. Because a lot of times that's what uh, the king ends up having to do. And if you can manage to do that with a little queen charge, you're setting your kill squad up to do some serious damage to things like double giant bombs, taking out Tesla farms, whatever you decide it is that you need it out of them. Uh, anyhow, you see this queen's taking care of the CC troops now, taking care of the defensive queen. So see how she already hiked it back up. She is now going to make her way down to this army camp and then just stand in here and just get so much value in this open alleyway. Because right, she's just going to go shopping down here. She's going to get buildings from all of these compartments that uh, are all touching this uh, open kind of concept, especially with that army camp being there. She's not going to go up and around. And now is meeting up with the kill squad at the same time. Because you see these golems down here. Wall break is good. Kings in, funnels down. Everything's going to just kind of uh, funnel in this way. Jump spell is now down. Queen is now just going to kind of meet up on the other side of these walls uh, and help this kill squad out now and just get really, really good value from here on in. So Expo is about to go down. Jump spell is good. King's going to move on in behind these golems. They're just slowly working their way in there. Couple First couple of hogs going in on this mortar. Um, good timing on those. Uh, really just going to basically get three buildings out of two hogs here, which is absolutely awesome. Maybe even four buildings, I should say. Because <clears throat> all that stuff in there, dude, tank. He does lose one in the spring trap, so my bad. Bad. drops a couple more that's right takes care of that wizard tower no problem everything's just going to move up into these kind of final two compartments and you see this queen now still getting value in this little open kind of chunk of the base picking off buildings in every single compartment that touches that uh, that little open space <clears throat> heel goes down take care of the rest of those hogs and uh, even those are bazillion skellies honestly this base doesn't stand a chance Three stars in the bag. Oh, I love the Troll Tesla. He even has three hogs for the Troll Tesla, just in case there is a DGB there, which there wasn't. I remember actually not too, too long ago, we were in a war against WHF, and uh, I was doing a first hit. Uh, and it was definitely going to be a three star until at the end, uh, until the basically until the Tesla popped, drew all my hogs over at the end, and there was a double giant bomb at it. And yeah, I lost all my hogs and didn't quite get the cleanup done. <laughs> it's pretty unfortunate, but oh well. Kitbacks had a plan there. It's just absolutely perfect, even though there wasn't any bombs. Let's check out Nammer's hit here. Number 25. Uh, really like this one. Does this really, really valuable uh, sort of queen walk. 
same idea there as kickbacks though uh is going to get this defensive queen out of the way and then is going to use the three valkyries and the golems and king to just get other jobs done get other goals accomplished here uh, so down goes that defensive queen <clears throat> wall breaker goes in and fails i think he uh was hoping to pop that wall open but no big deal uh drops the hog in to lure out the cc out it comes dragon loons poison goes down gonna take care of that business rage goes down helping out that queen she's gonna rip through the dragon rip through those balloons in one shot a piece gonna continue to walk around here and get value out of all this stuff right there's nothing really she's not gonna encounter too much at one point in time till she sort of rounds this corner but by then the kill squad's gonna met up hogs are in everything's in why am i in times too <clears throat> but as you can see the valks are kind of just getting so much work done one bomb is already down they're going to jump in here i believe got another set right in between um in between these buildings maybe <clears throat> sorry my voice is still really hoarse i've been uh yelling i guess at people at work too much there's the dgb uh so it does say four hogs here but there's one compartment of defenses left right so four more hogs are about to go in i believe right on this section there goes that fourth bomb in come those four hogs. Going to rip down that whiz tower like nothing. Queen's in there helping out. Just needs to get that queen uh, in range of that expo. And this base is definitely going to be GG. Those hogs are going to pit her out. No big deal. Kind of sucks because the Tesla was targeting the goal in there. I swear to God, and it like changed targets onto the hogs for some reason. Maybe it was targeting a, a different a goal or something like that, but no big deal. As soon as that spell factor goes down, Queen is going to just pound her way, or as soon as that storage goes down, Queen is just going to rip her way through these walls, finish off this compartment here. Uses that ability. Down goes the Tesla, Expo, Cannon, see you later, GG. Let's treat in the bag for Nammers. Beautiful. There's another one here. Oh, that's right. I want to show this attack. I usually use my attacks for uh, cleanup episodes, but this was actually a first hit. Um, my idea here, here, I'll roll you through what I was thinking on this on this hit. Um, I had to get the lure out. Look at that CC right there. It's so close to the side. My guess was because there's so much here he wanted, he was going to have a hound or a golem in there or even a P.E.K.K.A. Uh, to try and stop any sort of kill squad. So really um, all they get is this one square chamber up here. So my idea was, I'm like, okay, well, if I bring a handful of archers, I'll draw out the CC. If it's something large, like one of those three things, that, things I just mentioned, I'm going to draw it back to this builder set. And that's exactly what happens. Golem pops out. So I drop this archer down here. I'm just not going to kill the golem. But I'm drawing it all the way over here and just distracting it long enough to send in my kill squad and achieve their goal here. So that's the goal with that. I have four. This is a quad Lilo, CB quad Lilo. My goal is absolutely get that air defense, get this whole chamber dead. And then I got four lava hounds. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and just kind of counterclockwise rotation on the loons here. Um, and it works perfectly. It's one of those plans that just first hit. You know, you plan it out and it goes exactly how you would hope. Like there is no sort of flaw in the plan whatsoever. So you can see this golem and just take my time. Fortunately, I do kill the builders out there. I was hoping to yank it right to the corner, but no big deal. A couple more archers. Distraction is done. So as you can see, kill squad's in. Just dropping everything on these three buildings here because the queen's in range, the king's in range. Everything's going to get sucked right in there instantly. I don't need to worry about the funnel. Rage goes down. King's just going to rip through all this stuff. That golem's in there helping out. Finally, that golem goes down. King is finally just starting now to take some damage. Um, but look at all that's done so far, right? Queen's getting in there now. Going to step up, help out. They do end up locking onto the golem, but no big deal. Hit that ability on the king. Golem goes down. Look how fast this golem goes down between all that. Boom. Down go the golemites. Just got to finish off this compartment. My heroes are still looking pretty. I haven't used the queen's ability. And I can send in my air attack now. First hound is in. Second hound is in. Two loons, two loons, two loons, two loons. A couple haste going in. I just wanted to push everything into this core. A rage is now going to go down. Good timing on that. So here comes the number three hound. Do a little bit more tanking. I probably could have uh, spared some loons on this side and, and started more pushing them from this side. Because uh, I do have this fourth hound where I drop right now. Probably a little late on that hound as well. If I just got it in early and then saved a couple of these loons down here and dropped them up here, all this would be dead already. But how can you argue? Rage is down still. Just beasting through the rest of this base couple teslas to go queen's even in there helping out just hit the ability now mortar mortar g g
Da -da -da. If you put your air defense in your queen chamber, guys, that is an attack I'm probably going to try and look towards every single time. Um, you know, this guy did a really good job overall of, of trying to defend it. So you think you can get the air defense, but you might not. But um, I think uh, leading, luring that golem out of the way was uh, was the right move there and uh, ended up getting me the three. So good job, Wiser. All right, moving up here. I got, what, it's not 26. Oh, maybe it's 20. Oh, yes. Good old click clack here. Clack's going to bring four dragons here. Um, see how this plays out. Oh, dropping stuff now. <clears throat> so four earthquakes are going to go down over this uh, expo chamber here. Just going to open up a big piece of this base. Um, now what Clack's recognizing is that's opening up three air defense here. Um, so that's why he brings the dragons with 10 balloons. He's going to kind of just start deploying the dragons and balloons from 12 because all these air defense are so far down. So he's just going to let this kill squad work its way into this base with that earthquake, take out the air defense one at a time, slowly start reinforcing everything with the balloons. Just uh, the patience on this attack I thought was absolutely amazing. So Kane's going to go in here, golems in, rage goes down now, uh, three golems, right? They're just going to get huge push into this base, going to allow the queen in there to do so much work. <clears throat> bam, bam, bam. Tesla farm's going to go down. Air defense number one is already down. <clears throat> here come the CC troops. No big deal. Still has a rage up here for the dragons. The dragons are already in. That's the key to the dragons nowadays on Town Hall 9. Um, they're definitely becoming less viable again. However, uh, are still viable, but you just got to be very time conscious. They're a very time conscious attack. Uh, you know, the old sort of Queen Charge Zapquake dragons uh, doesn't exist a lot anymore. At least it's a very low percentage attack after the update. Um, but part of the key to success with that is deploying things very quickly like uh, Clack does here. So he's just reinforcing everything just as these air defense go down. Two balloons in, two balloons in. Still has one more balloon in the bag. Gets that Wiz Tower down. Has a few dragons still working their way through all this stuff on the side. Eventually everything's going to meet, uh, meet up there. Has to hit that ability on the Queen. He was really trying to save those balloons and does, does not quite get it in time because down goes that balloon. But no big deal. Already he's got the three dragons. Drops the one balloon while that drag's doing tanking. Golem is in there doing tanking for that expo. Like, there is nothing to stop this attack at this point. Bam, bam, bam. Down goes the expo. Army camp. A couple trash buildings. And it's tree in the bag for KK. Nice hit, my friend. All right. What else I got for you, folks? Good old zero. So I like this because it is a just a pure shattered Lalo. One jump, three heals. Um, and you see this base, you know, it's not a bad base by any means. Very, um, but a very interesting layout because uh, the way Zero kind of plans it here is he goes in through this very large compartment, gets a clean jump over to this queen chamber, and even gets into this L-shaped compartment, I'm pretty sure, uh, it, which is basically like almost half the base, right? Um there ends up being some bombs, I believe, that he doesn't get around 6 o'clock, but it doesn't matter with the way everything works out here. So Pekin comes out of the CC. Poison goes down. Going to help everything out. Wizards are right in there. Going to just rip that Pekka down in a few shots. Boom, 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 boom. So down goes the Pekka. <clears throat> King's going to work his way in there. Here comes this jump spell any second. There it is. Jump goes down. As soon as this stuff goes down, everything's going to rope back up to this queen chamber. King's going to lock onto that queen in about three, two, and one. There goes the king. He's going to jump in on this queen. Down she goes. Um, so that uh, everything's looking real pretty at this point, right? Has not exposed any bombs yet, uh, but starts feeding the hogs in from the 12 o'clock, kind of all the way down to the 9 o'clock. Uh, heel goes down. Going to let everything work its way through this base. Uh, there is a very cool DGB here. Look at this. I thought that 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 was one of the coolest DGBs I've seen. A very angled Tesla trap like that. Um, definitely a little kind of fancy thing I'm going to see. So he's got this little like kind of L shape of neutral buildings with another neutral building. Tesla's in between. And I, I don't know. I just thought that was a really cool diagonal giant bomb. Um, Never seen something like that before, but uh, very tricky indeed, but not tricky enough for Zero because he just smashes the rest of this base, loons in to clean up, hits that queen ability. 
He even has like a late, late cleanup hog he sends in there. Tree in the bag for zero. Dark Looters had some very nice bases, I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you, it has been a long time since we struggled with one, two, three, four, like five Town Hall 9s left on the board. I cannot tell you the last time I saw that with 2.0. So, uh, you know, Dark Looters had some really nice bases. We had we had some struggles ourselves. You know, like I said, I think we really shot ourselves in the foot with this war. We did not perform well overall as a clan. But uh, you can't take anything away from Dark Looters either because uh, some really cool, uh, tricky base designs like uh, what we just saw there. So um, let's check out our only real nice t uh, TH10 triple here. Endless brings a super sexy Valk. Uh, kind of Queen Walk Govaho at Town Hall 10 here. 12 Hogs, 12 Valks. Going to get good value out of this little Queen Walk. Start busting everything here. I don't think he actually meant to do what exactly happens here. Um, I, I just don't know because as soon as this um, Collector goes down, the Queen starts beating through the wall. So I thought that was kind of strange because... Um, that army camp is like right there. I don't know if that was planned. Uh, doesn't look like it was planned. Uh, however, um, with only the two wall breakers, maybe maybe was planning to break the wall. Definitely was planning to get the queen. So that's why I say that. Um, anyhow, so the defensive queen's about to go down. Bam, ba bam. See you later. <clears throat> gonna draw out that CC. Poison's gonna go down. Help her right out. She's gonna rock through the rest of those CC troops like nothing. Poison is just doing its thing on those small things. She starts working on that dragon. So kill squad is in. Bunch of giants. Jump spell goes down. Let everything in this town hall. King goes down behind. Here comes the Valkyries. Twelve Valks are in with that king. It's gonna start shredding through this base. You know these level one infernos. Um, really keeping this guy's war weight down, actually, but, uh, you know, max walls, max everything else. No, my bad. <laughs> Crazy patience on this base build. Now that I actually look a little more in depth, a lot of Town Hall 9 defenses in there, uh, more specifically just the mortars, archer towers, and cannons, I believe, but has all his walls done. Like, that is just amazing. Anyhow, as you can see, everything's just pushing through this base. Hogs are in. Expo's going down. Heal goes down. Queen's still in there with all her healers on her. King still hasn't even used the ability yet. There it goes. Finally, it's going to beat through, get to that cannon. Down goes the cannon, and it is clean up time. Just a beautiful hit, Endless. Boom. It's tree in the back. All right, so learning lesson of a war that's for sure you know we uh definitely learned where uh where boats were at with our uh, uh progress with our uh <laughs> you know all of our upgrades going on and everybody kind of moving up and wait whether it be going from a min town hall 9 to a max town hall 9 or from town hall 9 to town hall 10 um you know we still got a lot to learn and a lot to do but one thing we also did realize is base building is really back and uh, at the Town Hall 9 level at least. So um, that is a huge focus that we're going to have uh, going going forward here. I have a feeling Valkyries are going to see a nerf. Um, I hate to say it now, but the, some of the attacks I'm seeing are just pretty ridiculous. Like worse than the Witches, um, I would say. Like if anything, the Witches were less uh, overpowered and a little... At least you'd have to get a little more lucky with the Witches, I find, compared to the Valks, where they're just too beastly. They just rip through bases like absolutely nothing. But I guess we'll see. Only time will tell. But hope you guys enjoyed the uh, replays here. Uh, Dark Looters, again, thank you for a fantastic war. Uh, <laughs> hopefully to see you guys again in the future, and uh, we'll give you a bit uh, more adversity next time. I promise you that. So uh, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.